Hello uh, and welcome uh, to this meeting. I am sorry I'm not with you at your meeting in Singapore. I, am, uh, I have to be in India for, for some important meetings. But uh, the topic that you are discussing, the greater cooperation with East and West, uh, is, a, is a very important one. Uh, in my younger days, there was East and West and North and South. And I don't quite know whether what is now called East also should not be called South. Uh, and uh, what is West should also be called North. So we, as it were, a cooperation between North and West and South and East. There's only one caveat, that over the last 20 years, since globalization started and the Cold War ended, the South and the East has been advancing at a rapid pace, while the North and West which had a historical advantage, is slowing down. Obviously, the master cards are still with the North and West in multilateral institutions in terms of uh, uh, power of currency. The dollar is a very powerful currency, powerful reserve currency. And therefore, uh, the various Eastern and Southern economies have got to command their proper place in uh, the global system, not just through negotiations, but by demonstrating their strength and their power. And I think a lot of the strategies you are discussing are going to be a combination of cooperation and competition. There will be cooperation with uh, the North and West, with the global uh, financial institutions. But at the same time, there will be an attempt to set up rival institutions like the BRIC Bank uh, to, to show the North and the West that unless they change their ways of doing business, there are other people who can do the same business. So I think it's going to be intellectually very adventurous conference you're having. And you're in good hand with Kishore Mababani, uh, you know, who is even more of a troublemaker than I am. Uh, so I think you, are, you will have a great time with Kishore and enjoy yourself. Thank you.